David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today, I have for you a pen from a manufacturer I've reviewed previously. I've taken a look at two of their pens, and I'm glad that I've had an opportunity to take a look at a third, because this is my favorite release of theirs to date that I've had a chance to check out. The name of the brand is Enso, and the pen that I'll be showing you today is called the Italia. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the limited edition Enso Italia, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to Enso for providing this pen for review. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, Enso is a brand which was established back in 2014 and is based in Los Angeles. It was founded by a designer by the name of Carlo Aiello. Uh, the name Enso is a bit of a play on words, combining the Italian name of Enzo, E-N-Z-O, with the Japanese word Enso, uh, which is E-N-S-O, which means circle. Uh, the Japanese word actually refers to a hand brush circle that's been created using one single brush stroke and in one single breath. Uh, it's something closely related to Zen Buddhism. Uh, Zen masters will brush an enso when doing calligraphy to express the complexities of Buddhism and express a, a moment when the mind is free to let the body create. Uh, that ties into the minimalist designs carried across the entire enso product line, though I will say the pen that I'll be showing you today is a little less minimalistic than some of their previous models. The pet arrives in this box, the tray slides out, and we have a pen. This is the Enso Italia. As I mentioned, this is a limited edition. I believe they made 200 of these. And the pen is made from titanium and has a standard cigar shape. Um, let's take a look at the cap. The end is rather pointy. It's not sharp, but I like the look. Uh, then we have the clip. It is rather thin, but it is fairly stiff. Uh, while firm, it still is functional on thicker or thinner pockets. The cap angles up slightly, and then at the end we have this faux band with two large grooves on either side of a Greek key design. Uh, this design is very reminiscent of what you could find on Omas pens. Then there is a small step down to the barrel. Uh, and the barrel tapers down at an even angle until you reach another fairly large groove. And at the end of the barrel, it has a pointed end matching the look of the top of the cap. The cap unscrews in a rotation and a half. Now, this pen was originally offered as a Kickstarter, um, but they experienced some issues with the threads. They had some galling issues. Uh, galling is where metal on metal contact can sometimes cause uh, pieces to unintentionally bind to one another. Uh, the company redesigned the threads, moving them further back. They were further up on the section and they moved them further back, um, making them, and also made them a little bit blockier so that they'd be less susceptible to galling. Um, I do find at times the threads can catch a little bit, just slightly though. Um, there still might be some tweaks to uh, perfect the design of this mechanism. Once you've removed the cap, underneath you have a number five sized Bach nib. The Italia offers nibs in either fine or medium. For an additional cost, you can also equip it with a titanium nib. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with another Greek key band. Uh, I like that the design element was used here as well. It serves a dual purpose. Uh, it looks nice, but then it could also act to help prevent your grip from sliding off the end of this section. The section angles up at an even angle until you reach the threads, and then there's a medium-sized step up to the barrel. Now, when I first laid eyes on this pen, the first thing I noticed about this section was that it was metal. So I, su I assumed that it was going to be very slick. But to my surprise, that is not the case. And there's a reason for that. On the section, as well as the rest of the pen, there are very small milled grooves, uh, almost like a record. Um, now, if you're familiar with the tactile turn gist, the grooves on that pen are a little bit more pronounced than they are on this one. But if I rub it, you can actually hear them. So uh, the end result is a pen that has an outward appearance of polished metal, but the grooves really help you maintain a solid grip, and I don't feel my hand slipping at all on this metal section. 
other manufacturers should take note. Uh, so this is a good way that you can have a metal section that isn't slick. It can be done. This pen is an excellent example of that. This cap does post, and it does post securely. Um, while this metal cap is rather heavy, the diminutive design of this pen means that the weight on the cap doesn't sit too far back, and I don't feel it backweights the pen or throws off the balance. However, when capping, it feels like there is some rather harsh metal-on-metal -metal contact, so I suspect that over time, posting would significantly scratch up the barrel, so I would advise against it. The Italia is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided. Um, with the metal parts of this pen, I would say that eye dropping would not be advised. The Enso Italia Titanium is available to purchase directly from the Enso site. I will put a link to it in the notes below. Uh, the pen sells for $129, which I feel is a very reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. First of all, you're not going to find too many solid titanium pens in that price range. In addition, um, I like what they've done with this model. Um, the threads could use maybe a little version 3.0 tweak, but I like what they've done in regard to the milling texture element that they've added to the exterior as well as the section. Um, I feel it looks really sharp as well. And as you'll see in the writing sample, the Bach nib performs well. Uh, and the price is reasonable, like I said. There's a lot to like about this Inso Italia. It's worth checking out. And I know the numbers are limited, so uh, it's something if you're interested in, I would recommend doing sooner rather than later. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Enzo Italia. Um, in regard to some other smaller pens, here it is with an Aurora Optima, and here it is with a uh, Sailor Pro Gear, and then finally here it is with a Pilot Stella 90S, or it's also called the Stargazer. In regard to some other pens, um, I have a number of pens in my review queue that I am very excited about getting a closer look at, and I wanted to give you a sneak peek of three of them. Um, this first one is from Leonardo, and this is their Pura. Um, it is a really nice frosted blue, and I have uh, three of these pens to show you in three different colors, but these are amazing and are going to be launching very soon. Uh, next up is a brand new pen from Wancher that is either launching very soon or it just has launched a couple of days ago. And it is another titanium pen, and this one is called the Primo. What's kind of cool about this one is this blue has a really cool blue nib as well. I know it looked kind of black there, but it is a dark blue. But uh, this is like one of the largest pens that Wancher has ever produced. And then finally, I have another metal pen from Matthew Martin, and this pen is actually called the Chonk uh, because it is the largest one he offers, and it is very cool. Take a look at the swirled section. I just love that. This thing is amazing. So these are three pens that I have coming up that I am very much looking forward to sharing with you. In regard to uncapped comparisons, um, here it is with the Aurora Optima, and here it is with the Sailor Pro Gear, and then here it is with the Leonardo Puro, which is very similar in size to the Momento Zero Grande. Okay. So here we go with the writing sample for the Enso, and it's a lowercase e with an accent over it. Italia. This is a medium stainless steel nib. And the ink that I have today is uh, my ink of the moment, the ink that I am really fond of right now that I just can't get enough of. And it is from Stilo and Stile. which is uh, an Italian uh, retailer who is in Rome, and the ink is called Roman Bronze 
oxidation. This is what the ink looks like, and I will say that I believe it does look like the oxidation you will find on bronze. Um, it looks very similar to something like the Monteverde DC Super Show Teal. Um, the teal might be a little bit more green. Um, here's Colorverse Photon, which again is a little bit more green. Um, here's the Three Oysters Aqua Green. Again, a little bit on the green side. I don't have a lot of blues that match up well to it. Uh, and then finally, we have uh, Roaring Klingner. Is it Smargudrun? I'm, I know I butchered that name, but... Um, I, like I mentioned before, I don't have many blues that compare to that, and I really, really enjoy this ink. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. Um, it's a little bit on the small side, so it's something, even though it's 30 milliliters, I'll, I'll probably end up needing to get some more of this ink because, um, like I said before, it's turning into one of my favorites, and 30 milliliters uh, you know, is a decent amount, but it's not going to last me forever. Okay, let's have the rest of the writing sample. Um, I do find this Bach nib to be a bit on the firm side. Um, you get a little line variation, not a lot out of this medium nib. If I push it pretty hard, you don't get a ton of line variation out of here. But I do find it pleasant to use. Uh, the ink flow on here is decent. Um, it has a little bit of feedback. I wouldn't categorize it as overly smooth in regard to reverse writing. It is a little sharp, but it does get the job done. And in regard to some fast writing, the feed keeps up just fine. So here we have the Enso Italia. Um, I think this is a cool little pen. I, I really like this design. Um, I'm liking the, the Greek key design on here. Uh, I think it's an interesting material at a very reasonable price. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a limited edition and there's limited quantities left. So if it's something that interests you, I'd recommend checking it out sooner rather than later. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.